Hello, my name is Chris Kurzik, and I'm the Principal Engineer at Athabasca Engineering Solutions, AES for short. And uh, what does AES do? Well, first of all, we provide third-party value evaluations. We provide training and certification. We provide equipment re-rating. In part two of this presentation, we will talk more about summaries of applications for B31 specifications. We've grouped B31 4 and 8 together because they're specifically for pipelines. And uh, ASME B31 5 will follow. That's for refrigeration, 31.9 building services, and wrapping it up with a new, relatively new specification called B3112, which is for hydrogen service. B31.4 applies to liquid pipeline systems between production fields and facilities, tank farms, above or below ground storage facilities, natural gas processing plants, refineries upgraders, pump stations, ammonia plants, terminals, marine, rail, or truck. 31.4 also applies to pipeline transporting liquids within pump stations and tank farms and terminals. Thoughts when you review B31.4 is, wow, there are a lot of restrictions for within a plant for the applications of B31.4. Well, there, in order to make, to simplify it, ASME has created figures uh, 400, and specifically for get, providing some more details on when and when not to use B31.4. An example of it is shown here. Now, B31.4 also has requirements for liquids as well. Transportation of liquids. So here is the, the list. Crude oil, condensate, liquid petroleum products and gas. And please note that these aren't exact definitions you need to refer to the code. Natural gasoline, natural gas liquids, carbon dioxide. So that's like the super critical stuff for carbon sequestrian. That's chapter 10. Slurries, which we mentioned before, is it is an import from uh, B3111. And liquids, uh, liquid alcohols, liquid anhydrous ammonia, produced water, injected water brine, and biofuels, another addi addition in the last 20 years. Here is a list of B31.4 items that are excluded. They include building service piping, equipment including internal piping and connections for our piping, piping below these temperature limits or above those temperature li limits. But there are always exceptions. If you look at uh, 423 in uh, paragraphs, you can you can go lower uh, oil wells wellhead assemblies now we'll talk about b31 8 which is for gas transmission systems it was decided by asme to create a separate section for gas systems because they have their own set of requirements if you were to really study the code you'll find that this, the requirements are slightly higher because of the nature of, of gas. Now, I'll talk about the scope summary. Transporting, and it's concerned with certain safety aspects of liquid-fied petroleum gases that are vaporized and used for gaseous fuels. Uh, so natural gas piping systems, such as compressor stations, liquid 
uh, or gas treatment facilities, measuring regulation stations and tank farms. This would apply to those applications. All of the requirements of NFPA 58 and 59 would, would apply when you're handling butane, propane, or mixtures of these gases. Excluded from this is the, uh, the pressure vessels, heat exchangers, proprietary equipment, piping greater than in temperature than 232 centigrade, but there, of course, there are exceptions, and piping downstream of, of the customer meter, you need to refer to ANSI Z22. 223.1 in NFPA 54. Of the exceptions in B31.8 include piping within oil refineries, natural uh, gasoline extraction plants, gas treated treating plant piping, there are exceptions, and gas transmission systems, waste gas atmospheric vent piping, wellhead assemblies, and this is very a very high level summary, control valves, trap separator, interconnecting piping, offshore facility piping, gas oil field casing tubing in or oil, oil wells. Also refer for any kind of liquid services, we go back to B31.4 and that includes slurries and carbon dioxide. Now we've completed B31.4 and 8. Those are the pipeline specs. We're going to go into service specs. ASME B31.5 refrigeration piping and heat transfer components. This system is mostly used in the United States. Uh, CSA is more commonly used in Canada. But let's continue with this. Refrigeration and heat transfer components and secondary coolant piping for temperatures as low as one, minus 196 is included in B31.5. It includes shop and field assemblies. Note that you need again you need to check with your local jurisdiction for requirements. Excluded from the specification is self-contained unit systems such as under underwriters laboratories are equal, so another regulatory body. Water piping used as a secondary coolant or, or refrigerant, piping less than 15 PSI, regardless of size. And I've noticed in the spec that it doesn't, it, it talks about PSI absolute. I would have thought it would have been in a gauge. And uh, if anybody has some comments on that, I'd really be interested to hear what you have to say pressure vessels, compressors, or pumps. B31.9 applies for industrial, institutional, commercial, and public buildings and multi-unit residences. The services uh, for pressure and temperature limits are as follows. I, I created this summary table to give you an idea. So this includes water, water glycol for heating and cooling applications up to a pressure shown there. Steam and condensate up to 150 PSI at a certain temperature. Compressed air for that. Vacuums uh, systems if you have them, probably for instrumentation. Uh, Non-toxic, non-flammable gases. Um, nitrogen or, or lab gases, combustion liquids, combustible liquids, and minimum temperature for all these services is zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus 118. And that's to get away from the complexity of having impact tested materials. 
31.9 building service piping systems includes also includes steam boilers to a maximum of 15 psig water heating units 160 psig to a maximum of 250 and includes all piping material size and thicknesses uh, there's a big list but i'll give you an example carbon steel up to 48 inch nps uh, and and uh, half of an inch of wall thickness you need to also check with your local authority the local jurisdiction for requirements such as csa um, and so on Excluded are economizers, heaters, pumps, tanks, heat exchangers, and boiler pressure vessel equipment. The last spec that we'll look at in this presentation is B31.12. It's for hydrogen service piping and pipelines, and it's intended to be part of the hydrogen economy uh, that is, you know, in in development and as me has responded by this pipelines um, this piping system specification so it's applicable to piping and pipelines in gaseous and liquid hydrogen service and pipelines in gaseous hydrogen service so so really cold stuff and it's for power process transportation distribution commercial and residential applications and includes piping up to including the joint connecting the piping to the vessels and equipment. 1.12 is still in, in evolution. There's still a lot of discussions. But what is excluded at this point is associated pressure vessels and, and uh, specialty equipment. I hope that you found this presentation useful and valuable to you. This was provided by Athabasca Engineering Solutions. We'd love to hear your feedback and, and your thoughts on further videos. And we'd love to hear from you. Maybe we can do some business. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Take care for now. Mm -hmm.